alert there, Jace. You say that could be heading our way. Yeah, definitely. That's going to start knocking on our doorstep tomorrow, but not too early, not too late. So we're going to get those fireworks in tonight. Let's start things out with the maps and show you where that system is tracking right now. We've got an area of low pressure over Arizona. Even Arizona's caught some flurries today. I had a uh, former guy I used to work with just retire in Arizona, sent me some pictures of flurries in his front yard. Kind of crazy to think about. Now this area of low pressure, that's the driving cyst behind this. What this is doing is hooking onto that South Pacific moisture, pulling it right into the region, and that's meeting up with all that cold Arctic air that dropped down out of Canada. And those two elements, yeah, just firing off some more flurries for us. So again, as we move into Thursday, Right around mid, uh, I should say late morning, right around noon, that's when we're going to start to see snow move across the area. So your morning commute shouldn't be too bad tomorrow. However, do keep in mind for your morning commute, we had a lot of snow melt today. With all that snow melt, it's going to freeze right back up on us tonight. So we're going to have a lot of black ice tomorrow morning. But as for the snow kicking off tomorrow around noon, that's going to stick with us pretty much all day. So we're looking at that snow up through even five tomorrow night. Not a ton of accumulation out of this system. And we'll start to see it breaking up a little bit more into the early morning hours on Friday. And then by Friday uh, morning or so, that's when we're going to see just a few traces of spotty flurries, primarily into the high country. Eastern Colorado should stay relatively dry. By Friday night, we're looking at clear skies again, and those temperatures are going to take a nice little boost there following. As for the snow accumulation charts, here's how things are going to play out for us. So throughout the springs, we're looking about a trace to two inches. The two inches are going to be more west of the I 25 core. Corridor, a little further south, one to three, up into the mountains near Salida, about three to six, and possibly up to 15 inches as we move into the southwestern mountain ranges. So that's going to be the area getting the heaviest effects. The most snow is going to stay well to our south. As for highs tomorrow, we're looking at pretty much the 20s all across the board. It's going to feel like a heat wave, much like today after all that cold weather we've had. 20 degrees into the springs, 23 into Pueblo, a few teens into the mountains. We're looking again at the low 20s there out into eastern Colorado. Going to be a little bit warmer into the mountains, much like we saw today. 28 degrees into Canyon City there. As for the next seven days, here's how things play out. Again, 20 degrees to start the weekend, we could say there. A few flurries again on Thursday, likely see a little accumulation there. Starting to clear up for Friday, and then another system moves in Saturday and Sunday. So do keep that in mind. And then after that system, it looks like temperatures will finally kind of reach back to that normal degree mark of about 45 on Monday. Same story for Pueblo. Snow tomorrow, but we're not anticipating much in the way of precipitation once Saturday rolls around into, into Pueblo. Just a slight chance there. Same story for Canyon City. We're looking at about 28 degrees degrees there and another system kind of knocking at our doorstep there by Saturday into Teller County a little bit better coverage on these storms likely going to see closer to that inch and a half amount of accumulation and then again the next system starts knocking at our doorstep on Saturday so a little bit of a clearing in between storms but the nice thing with these next few systems are not going to be nearly as cold yeah so in other words you we can like walk that. outside and breathe you know <laughs> we like that yeah <laughs> thanks so much not a problem